begin with our top focus on Canada. Separatist attacks have reared their ugly head once again in the West. And India continues to mount pressure on countries, especially like Canada, where no action has been taken so far. Amid criticism of having a soft stance on India-related separatist attacks in Canada, the country's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has stated that the allegations are wrong and that Canada has always taken threats of this nature very seriously. Remember, on 4th of June, a parade in Brampton included a tableau of the assassination of India's former Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, but no action has been taken so far and Canada has even stated that it's not a hate crime. Now, amid posters threatening a separatist stir and targeting Indian diplomats in Australia, the United States, the UK, even Canada's external affairs minister S.J. Shankar has called on partner nations to not give separatist elements any space. Let's listen in to what India's external affairs minister has to say. Hey, hum jo, uh, jo, uh, uh, humare jo, uh, uh, partner देश जो है जैसे कनाडा है अमेरिका है यूके है ऑस्ट्रेलिया है जहां कभी-कभी खालिस्तानी एक्टिविटीज होती हैं हमने इनको रिक्वेस्ट की है कि वो उनको खालिस्तानियों को स्पेस ना दें क्योंकि उन जो उनकी सोच जो है ये ये रेडिकल एक्सट्रीमिस्ट विचारधारा जो है वो ना हमारे लिए अच्छा है ना उनके लिए है ना हमारे रिश्तों के लिए तो ये ये जो पोस्टर का विषय जो है ये हम जरूर उन सरकारों से उठाएंगे हो सकता कि हम अभी तक क्योंकि ये कल कल परसों ही निकला था हो सकता कि अभी तक को भी कनाडा हैज always taken extremely seriously violence and threats of violence. We've always taken serious action against terrorism and we always will. They are wrong. Canada has always taken extremely seriously violence and threats of violence. We've always taken serious action against terrorism and we always will. But has Canada taken serious action as being uh, as is being claimed by Justin Trudeau? Let's try and get in a sense of perspective. And for that, let me introduce Terry Milewski, who's a Canadian journalist, is joining me live. Thank you, Terry, for joining in. How do you assess the Canadian Prime Minister's comments when he says always taken serious action? That too, when he was questioned by journalists. I thought the Prime Minister's comments um, were uh, uh, not just clueless, and they were certainly clueless, uh, but also false. And I say that because um, when he said that, Can oh no, Canada has been always taken terrorism extremely seriously. We've done a heck of a job, according to him, of fighting terror through the ages. Nobody should criticize us for that. He is forgetting all of the important details. And I mean, of course, I'm referring to the worst terrorist incident in Canadian history, uh, the Kanishka bombing, the bombing of Air India Flight 182 in 1985, which, I'll spare you the details, endless inquiries, in-depth uh, study by a judicial inquiry, proved that Canada totally botched it, every aspect of it. They blew it before the bombing when they failed to prevent it, even though they had the culprits under surveillance and being wiretapped for three months before the bomb. And they, they, they ignored several uh, explicit warnings, but also after the bombing when they failed to deliver a full measure of justice, in my opinion, to the victims' families for years and years and years and years and years. So it was an absolute disaster as a, 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 in terms of terror management. So for that reason, you, you, you asked me the right question. Was, was the prime minister's statement even vaguely plausible? No. Nobody who had even a passing familiarity with the facts could possibly say that Canada did a great job fighting terror. Absolutely. And when it comes to these double standards, well, perhaps it's not just Canada. I'm going to need your e opinion even on another story that I'm going to touch upon, Terry. I'm going to request you to continue staying with me. And let's now talk about a story which